um, El referee there sitting in the corner. It is the principal in Victor Lungwane. And of course, Mazar Mulefa as well bring us the news of what's happened over the last week. But what a weekend it was. And we'd love to hear from you as far as the weekend is concerned. There's a lot happening. I enjoyed the tennis. So much so that I missed out on the Kosafa finals, uh, even the semis in the third and fourth, because I was watching the tennis. Alcaraz versus Djokovic. What a good final that was. Thoroughly enjoyed it. A passing of the baton from new, uh, from old to new. A man that had dominated Wimbledon over the last three years, seeing a young man dethrone him in that way, but ever so humble, even in that. It was brilliant to watch. I loved every single uh, part of that. I watched it, uh, every ball served, didn't miss a single second of that. If you watched it too, I'd love to hear from you on the weekend that was. Uh, WhatsApp on 060-552-7303. Then there was the Boker as well. Woke up early enough to watch the Springboks on Saturday morning. Um, you know, I, I, I put all my faith always in uh, in my bimpy and uh, it wasn't his match, was it? But I mean, it wasn't just the Springboks match. From the onset, we struggled in that match. I'm not sure if we weren't up to par, we weren't good enough, or if New Zealand is just a better team. Is New Zealand just a world-class team right now? Did this give us a glimpse of what to expect in the World Cup as well? Those are things to think about. And then, of course, there's the Bafana Bafana matter as well. Uh, I'm not big on the Kosafa Cup. It must be said. Very honestly, not big on the Kosafa Cup. Uh, Mazar Malefe was there. We saw Bafana Bafana not making it to the final. We'll talk about that as well. But 86 We'll move the time to calls to probably 10 to 18.50, uh, unlike the usual 18.45, because we are starting a little bit later. 16 after the hour 6. Welcome to it. Let me introduce our guest, Thluan. Uh, what do you have for us? Uh, today, uh, Sieli Sutu. Lisutu scored a beautiful goal. Uh-huh. Uh, it was ruled offside in the cup final. So we'll look into it. Secondly, we'll also check into uh, when a player gets a red card before the start of the match. What does the law say? Mm, can't wait for that one there. A little bit of education there. Remember, this team is the same team. Um, every single Monday, you catch us on Soccer Zone as well. I mean, there's a bit of an interchange whenever Mozilla's too busy for us. But uh, every <laughs> single Monday on Soccer Zone and SABC1, SABC Sport is where you can catch us. Mozilla, what's going on? A lot is going on. Ma. I can't keep up. Sundowns just released a statement now, which I... Uh, Sundowns? I'm going to have to read... Uh, 10 times before I understand what it means. It says, the the headline says, Mamelodi Sundown supports Cassius Mailula's move to North American club. And then they go about uh, talking about they've been in talks. Cassius Mailula's leaving? I'm I'm guessing that's what the statement is saying, but in the end, end, the statement says, Mamelodi Sundowns will make further announcements concerning Cassius Mailula in due course. Okay, I'll give you time to read that. I'll give you time to read that. We'll get into that. What else are we getting into? There's no need to read more. That's all it says. That's why I'm confused, (laughs) because it doesn't even tell us which club, so we must go find out which club he's moving. What else do you have? Um, uh, Another Soweto giant uh, takes an L. Another Soweto giant takes an L. Another we'll Soweto decipher giant it. Takes we'll decipher an L. it. Let's get into the weekend that we're starting off in tennis news. Carlos Alcared, a dream come true. He says that he used to watch Djokovic as a small boy, watch him dominate. He loved watching him. He grew up watching him win everything, and to play him and beat him was a dream come true. Have a listen. Uh, really proud of myself, you know, making uh, history in this beautiful tournament, you know, playing a final against uh, a legend of uh, our sport. A dream come true uh, for a boy, you know, 20 years old. I didn't expect to, to reach, you know, these kind of situations really fast. Really, really proud of my... Absolutely amazing. And he had the King of Spain there watching him do that as well. Let's move on now to athletic news where Akane Simbini reacts to beating Fred Carly. First of all, thank you to Poland for hosting us. Um, stadium is amazing. Atmosphere here is amazing. Running here is amazing. The race was a good race for me. Um, I feel like I didn't run actually, but just happy that I got out and I came out with the win. And, and I'm just continuing my good form and good shape building up to the World Championships. Well, congratulations there to Akane Simbini, who ended Fred Carley's, uh, uh, Curley's dominant taking da- da- down the world. There was absolutely amazing to watch him do that. Akane Simbini stunned the world um, and the world champion and Fred Curley to win the men's 100 
meter final. The race showcased a thrilling display of speed and competitiveness among these exceptional sprinters. He is the man to watch in this year and of course at the World Champions as well. Akani Simbini, for so long he's been bubbling under. For so long we've been speaking about Simbini being, you know, the next one, the next one after that generation of the Hussein Bolt. Is this his turn? And then rugby, Jacques Ninaba, he bemoans a poor start for the Springboks. First 20 minutes, I felt, yes, we we, we struggled to, to get into the game because of poor discipline. I think the first 15 or 20, we gave away four consecutive penalties. Uh, we made a lot of mistakes. So obviously, errors put us under pressure and uh, the quality side that New Zealand are, they capitalised on that. And uh, then we played catch-up right before the rest of the game. So that's it. Those are the stories. If you have something else that you'd like to add to the weekend that was, please do come in on it. It's 20 after the hour six. Masala, we're going to go straight to you. And I want to start here because I remember when uh, Terence Zukamanja was here in studio and I said to him that, you know, he's not looking himself. And he said, no, he's happy. He's just, you know, it's been a long season. And I said to him, I know you're busy with the contractual agreements. Uh, are you staying at Orlando Pirates? And, you know, he didn't have much to say. In fact, we have that clip, so have a listen to this. This is uh, Terence Chukumanja speaking to me when he was here on Sports Not Amplified. Chuka, uh, Mazola says, uh, uh, see, I like putting him on the spot. Mazola says, uh, you're busy with your negotiations, uh, so we can expect you at Paris for another three, five years? <coughs> <coughs> ah, that one, that one, I guess I can leave it for my agent to say. <laughs> 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 He's the one doing the talking. But you'd there. like to stay? Uh, obviously, as a person, you have to, everyone wishes to play for everything in the country and it's a big team also a big bag so yeah I want to be there I want to stay oh. so that was Terence Chukamanja I mean th- there's two ways to Jeez. read into that <laughs> you know the uncertainty at the beginning and the wishes at the end there but it wasn't to be it's not to be Andy Lea a lot can happen in a month but uh, let me take it back a, f- a few months before that in November 2022 mm. uh, and at the time I was told not to go into detail about what I had seen and the picture that I had taken there was Gavin Hunt, there was Terence Chukamanja's agent, Alban Newman, and there was uh, Terence Chukamanja himself in Sentin uh, <coughs> having a meeting. And if you remember at the time, Terence was not, had hardly kicked the ball. He played once since uh, the, the new coach had arrived. But things ch- changed, obviously, uh, at the start of the year with, uh, with, uh, with Scott Chickle Day coming in and mm. Terence getting some game time. I suppose perhaps there was a change of heart with regards he to... Was, he was, I mean, Scott Chickledale did say that he, he did like yeah. Terence Chukamanja. Exactly. Things that his fortunes changed. But, I mean, the, the two clubs would have to come out and set the record straight here. I, I, and, and there's been insinuations now that Terence might have actually signed a pre-contract at the time. Uh, there was no option. I checked. I, I, I fact checked that there was Pirates did not have an option in his contract. Hmm. So effectively, June 30, he was no longer their player. Uh, but the issue here is that the statement Pirates have released are saying uh, we were in talks. Terence told us that he would like to leave the club to go closer to home to Zimbabwe because he's got a family family emergency or whatever the case may be. Pirates even offered to pay him his salary while he's still sorting out his personal issues only to be surprised by um, uh, developments that he wow. signed for Super Sports United. So, so you according to Orlando Pirates, Terence Chikoman just said to them, hey, I want to go back home, which is a Mamluri Sundown story. You remember that? <laughs> um, with, um, who was it? Was it, it was not Kama. No, it wasn't Kama. Who wanted to move back home? Was, uh, what's his name? He had just come from Amazul at the time, having been on loan. And he said, no, he wants to retire and go home. Um, but it also happened uh, at Cape Town City. Uh, Hugo, uh, uh, the goalkeeper, yeah. said he, he, yeah, said he wanted he wanted to to to, to be closer to home or whatever the, he or he or he said he's there was a, a illness so in his family. So basically, he lied to Orlando Pirates. What that in pirate, order to get out of that and Pirates are saying he lied to us. Hence, I'm saying the notion that he may have. Thank you very much, Mpo. Um, Emilio Tade. Remember ah, Emilio Tade? That yes. was the one. And Mpo, then he, he, sh- he showed up at Mamelodi Sundowns. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. He oh, left no, Sundowns. He left Sundowns, he left to, go, sundowns yeah. to go. Yeah, so we've seen this. So Terence Okamanjo, okay, pulling a wool over Orlando yeah, Pirates. But I mean, the fact that Supersport had wanted him was no secret because I had also I'd done a story in January with his agent, Mike Macab, also confirming that. But why not tell the truth then? That's what I'm saying. That's what is confusing about the situation. And by the way, I did reach out to, to, to Mike Macab earlier before we went live. Uh, we went on air to to ask him for 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 his you know comment uh, whether he, it, it's in contradiction of what pirates are saying and he declined uh, to comment. So 
read into that what you will. But Terence Chukamanja told pirates he'd like to go back home. Back home is uh, Tswani. <laughs> <laughs> what else do you have? Uh, a movement, as I was saying, uh, uh, Cassius Mailula. I'm still confused. I, I, I don't know. Maybe pi- if Sundowns needs help with some PR statements, they must uh, come to the SABC so we can uh, write it for them because I don't understand what that means. It, it L- let's go through this again. Yeah, so Sundowns have released a statement. They released a statement about Cassius Mailula. About Cassius Mailula. What is it saying? It Just take a look at it again. It what, what, what is it saying? Look, the statement says uh, Sundowns support Cassius Mailula's move to North to North American club. No names mentioned. My Melody Sundowns has been in discussion with the North American club, football club that expressed interest in acquiring his services. Sundowns is proud of their academy player. Uh, Sundowns will make further announcements concerning my Lula in due course. I don't know what that means. So he's moving to North America? Mm, I mean, you, someone could say he's moving to North America. Someone could say uh, they are in talks. I, I don't know. Okay. I, yeah, I mean, I, do, I don't know what it means. Jeez, what, a, what, a, what a talent to lose. But I mean, when you look at uh, the, the, the second half post Bafana Bafana of Cassius Mailula, I'm not very surprised. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, I mean, there's been he's been linked to uh, uh, to French clubs as well uh, in the past, uh, you know, you know, Belgium clubs, because obviously because of his age, because of how quickly he adapted in what essentially is his breakthrough season in, in the DSTV Premiership. So, uh, Sundown's stance has always been any player that wants to leave we would never stand um, you know, uh, uh, to, to block that opportunity. So it will be great to see the young man playing international football. Hopefully he goes to a league that allows him uh, a leap into bigger leagues there as well. But that's it. It's breaking news. Mumbledy Sundown's releasing that statement uh, just now to say that uh, um, they support Kashas Mailula's move. Um, to North America. North America is a league that is seen as one of the best upcoming leagues at the moment with the World Cup coming in. Messi is playing there. We've got, uh, uh, I think, uh, two South Africans that are playing there at the moment. So it's going to be great to see what happens with that story there. K-Lab, Kaiser Chiefs, what's going on? Uh, The latest Chiefs haven't confirmed anything yet and neither has uh, weighed at Casablanca, but the two clubs are in communication. They are in talks with regards to a potential transfer. Kaiser Chiefs, I mean, it's no secret that Kaiser Chiefs have been looking to offload Caleb, surprisingly, just after uh, barely a year at the club, he's the leading goal scorer this past season, and they they are hoping to also free up because what this would do is free up a, a, an international, a foreign international spot at, at Kaiser Chiefs. Because at the moment, it's all filled up with five. If uh, uh, Caleb leaves, then it opens up uh, one more. As things stand, uh, you know, uh, reports in North Africa as well are talking about how. Two clubs, you know, negotiating uh, a transfer fee and the player agreeing personal terms. And if they do agree, then uh, we'll see an announcement in the coming days from a Kaiser Chiefs point of view. I mean, they've got Ranga, so I think that. it did uh, offset letting Caleb go. Ranga Chibabiro is now there as well, so I understand that. Yeah, so let, let's see. I mean, there's no news yet with regards to Kama Bilet. I suppose Kama has said he's not coming back because, like uh, Juka Manja, although Kama didn't lie, he just you know, his contract ended, he left, and the club are saying he's gone AWOL. No, he hasn't gone AWOL. His contract ended and he did not come back. <laughs> he can't go AWOL because he's not a Chiefs player. He's, not, he's, not, he's not employed by Kaiser Chiefs. Of effective, the, ne- the 30th of June, his contract ended. So if the club, subsequent to that, three, four days later, if they say he's gone AWOL, no, he hasn't gone, gone AWOL. He's decided not to stay at the club. Do we know any agent. more details of Andy Jali's move to Swallows? It, it was confirmed, obviously, uh, last week. Uh, Friday, yeah. Friday, a one-year contract, I uh, suppose, with an option to, to renew for Andy Lejali. San, but Swallows are still trying to sign more players in talks with uh, Tehoma Basa, who finished top goal scorer at the Kosafa Cup. And I suspect a few more pr- su- surprises as well because they've got a new uh, kit sponsor coming through as well. Uh, potentially, Steve uh, Hompela is trying Who's to... Who's the new kit sponsor? I don't know at the moment. Uh, the you know the chairman's keeping his uh, cards close to his chest, but my understanding is that they've not uh, actively renewed uh, their partnership with Ambro. So they are act- yeah, they are in the market. Uh, uh, possibly they might have already found uh, uh, a kid sponsor. For Why would Andy Lejali sign a one-year contract? I'm not sure. I mean, he's 33. You know the the the, the yeah, stigma so around one to three, four year contract. Yeah, stigma around players once they hit 30s. It's you know it's 30. It's three plus. It's one plus one. One plus one every year. I mean, Happy JLF I think played for Pirates four, 
three, four years in a row on a one plus one plus one plus one that keeps getting renewed. Siabonga Mponcha is a similar case as well. And many other players who are over 30. Um, Andile obviously left Mamelodi Sundowns after five years. So effectively, you could say it's a two-year uh, contract, but obviously there's an option that's triggered by the club at the end of the season if they are happy uh, with the, 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 the new terms. But let's see. I wouldn't be surprised... I wouldn't be surprised to see Swallows' new technical sponsor, kid sponsor, being a local brand like uh, uh, like Mr. Lekau and his shoes coming in drip. and being a part of it. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. don't be surprised. Don't be surprised. If yeah. you see drip, and dripping. At, 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 at Morocco Swallows. At Morocco, Swallows. Morocco Swallows. Now we can, finally we can. I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, That's yeah, all yeah. I'm saying. Yeah, all I'm yeah. saying is I wouldn't be surprised if you see it drop and it's drip. Yeah, would not be surprised. The final story I want to touch on: uh, Rowan Human also was part of the Bafana Bafana Kosafa Cup squad. Uh, you know, leaving Maritzburg. That much I can tell you. Uh, you could see him in Chiefs colors. You could see him in Amazulu colors. Maybe even Super Sport United. But what I can tell he's you, he's a wanted man. He's a wanted man. Still only 22 years old. Uh, a former junior international. He played in Isra- Israel as well. Before he went to Israel, he o- very nearly joined Mamelodi Sundowns. But now he could be uh, a glamour boy unless uh, other 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 teams are close to to that signature. But let's see. It's not a done deal just as yet. And then the last story, the one that I want to get into because it ruined my weekend. Really, we've been speaking about it all week last week, yeah. and you would have thought that with six days till. They kick a ball on Sunday, Banyana Banyana, in their first game against Sweden. Everything has been sorted. But I can tell you now that Banyana Banyana have not signed their contracts. The technical team that is there have not signed their contracts. They are there and they have not signed their contracts. So that still lingers in the back of their minds. That's still a thing that is happening at Banyana Banyana camp where they have not yet signed contracts. Ma'a, you, you hosted that presser. Mm. Uh, by the Mutsipe Foundation. I was not there. I'd already left for Kosafa Cup. Uh, but I, I need to understand because the union president says it was agreed at that press conference which had the Minister of Sport, which had Safa, uh, all the delegates from Safa, top table, that uh, the staff members would get half of the 230 that Banyana are supposed to get. So what changed? Why is Safa then releasing a detailed statement? By the way, after SABC Sports sent them questions uh, to the CEO Lydia Munyepao and then a few hours later there's a detailed statement even though we had asked uh, to have an exchange. So they answered your questions they, they in asked a statement. The, they answered our questions in a statement. No, I'm used to it. They and listen to the show and do the same. And the statement says uh, uh, st- uh, staff are not it's not a policy of the federation to pay uh, bonuses and incentives to, 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 to staff. staff. Yeah. But I wh- what I'm trying to understand here is was it agreed? Because they, they are saying it's the first they, they hear of this 115K. No, but, but in that statement as well, uh, it speaks of the fact that Safu president said it at the presser, right? Yeah. If Safu president said it at the presser, Danny Jordan, the president of the South African Football Association, spoke after. And he could have said this. Uh, uh, Safu president. Yeah. So then and there was an opportunity for him to say something. Mm-hmm. If not doing that because he was being cordial to the event, which was there to sort things out then the Safa president dr denis jordan could have in 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 in, in, in the question and answer session Correct. said something Correct. Safa went on after that event after the cameras were switched off from that event went on to host their own press conference where they announced their sponsorship that they had just got in the day two million rand sponsorship i think it is from Ten the lottery million. right oh, okay so if that is the case why not then say something there. He had ample opportunities yeah. to correct this wrong. Yeah. He had ample opportunities to say, no guys, this is not actually what we'd agreed on. Yeah. Even a day later or two days later, because actually what's gone on now, the statement released on Sunday is effectively more than a week after that press conference. So even if you realized a couple of days later in the negotiations, they could have still rectified the issue by issuing a statement to say, We've noted reports that we've said we are going to give staff members 115K and that is not the case. But only to do it subsequent to our story on Sunday, uh, on, on Saturday morning when the letter sent by uh, Lydia Munyepao to uh, the staff members out in New Zealand uh, to give them what is now a watered down uh, amount. I mean, th- th- when you look at that amount compared to what was, was 50, said. In, now what was said in, yeah, what was said in the press compared to what's being put on the table. Oof. 
Yeah, so that's the that's what's happening um, at camp at the moment. Banyana Banyana, the camp is, and I spoke to a couple of the girls. They're saying, hey, the energy is not the same as when we won the Africa Cup of Nations. Mm. You know, it's just we're not we're not as together. We're not as 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 a unit as what we were there. And you've got to wonder the impact of all that's going on behind the scenes on the football that we're going to be seeing come Sunday when they take on one of the best teams in the world in Sweden. It's thirty five after the hour six. We're going to take a break. When we come back. Uh, We'll hear what the principal has got and then take your calls, really, because what a weekend it was. Carlos Alcaraz, what a boy. What a boy. Did you watch the final? Did you watch Wimbledon? An amazing feast of tennis. Um, I mean, there was a, I think it was a, in the third set, the third game that went on for so long. It went on for so long and no one could win that point. And when, I mean, it was amazing to watch. At some point, my phone died from just tweeting uh, over and over again and I couldn't move off my couch to go just plug it in. Uh, it was that good. And the Springboks on Saturday morning as well. Let's have a word about that. What did we learn in that game against New Zealand? Did we learn that there's a lot to do still before the World Cup? And many might say that, you know, uh, the Springboks are not at full strength quite yet. Um, it wasn't our full strength team. You know, we do have a couple of players that are still to to be fully fit. What are your thoughts on everything that happened this weekend? It's the weekend that was on Sports Not Amplified with Andy Lee. SABC is going to be showing you games, uh, of course. Uh, uh, it's over 20 games. I know that for a fact. I don't know the exact amount of games, but it's a lot of games. You're going to be seeing a game every single day as far as the World Cup is concerned. And our lead anchors as well, you know, in Vusiwa as well as Dumi. It's a two young women in sport that are going to be leading um, this Banyana Banyana World Cup, what I'm calling it anyway, but this FIFA World Cup down in New Zealand, Australia. So it's an exciting broadcast that you want to be a part of. I mean, some of us will feature here and there, but it's going to be an exciting uh, buffet of football that uh, we've put together. Uh, when you see some of the stars that they've brought in, former Banyana players that are going to be part of our broadcast, it's exciting times ahead uh, come this weekend when the matches do kick off. It's exactly 18.39. I want to hear from you. Did you watch the boy wonder, Alcaraz? I know people that don't watch tennis watch Wimbledon finals. Did you see Djokovic? I mean, she was. He gave it everything, didn't he? At some point, I thought, I've seen him come back before. I mean, the final of 2009, I think it was, um, was one of the best I'd ever seen against Federer. So I thought, I we're going to be seeing a classic here, but it wasn't to be. He couldn't stretch. He couldn't go where Alcaraz could go. Alcaraz just seemed to have a lot more in the tank. So I'd love to hear from you if you did watch it. The Springboks as well, they were part of this weekend. If you're watching Kosafa as well, hey, get in on it. Speaking of Kosafa, the principal, on other content. What's even more content? Arut. Yeah, I, I, I see a FIFA World Cup where we are. Because of Harit Kaleka, the referees have started the workshop today. They are at the airport. Ah, um, oh, no. I can't why do I feel like every week you're telling me they're having a workshop? It's pretty It's for the but first time. But you said they were having a workshop it. two weeks ago. No, no, no. They are starting today. So we are announcing that they have started. They have arrived yesterday. I was there. It was Zakele Swele. They are there. So they will finish on uh, Friday. The next group come on Saturday. And then they finish on the 29th. So this is the workshop where... They they, de- they deal with the new rules. The new rules, yeah. but also to touch up on everything that they messed up exactly. on last season. Exactly. So that we have better referees this it coming season. Definitely. So we wish them all the best. And they are going through the fitness test. So those who have eaten too much during the break, I unfortunately, they might not make it. But we wish them all the best because this time there's a change. We normally run when we arrive. So this time they are going to run when they leave. That That's a fitness test now? The fitness test, yeah. Okay. So, you know, the hotel food, hey. Hey, Rules, you. talk to yeah. me. Red uh, card before the match. Yeah. How do you get a red card before the match? Uh, normally when you do violent conduct, because violent conduct, the match is not in play. Uh, you punch somebody, you spit at somebody. It's like in the tunnel, in going the tunnel. in before the match begins. But yes, or while we're shaking hands, uh, you you decide to do something that warrants a red card. You will get a red card. Now, what does the law say when you get a red card before the start of the match? If you get a red card before the start of the match, that player may be replaced by one of the named substitutes. That means if there's a nine substitute, like in the terms of regulation, you have nine uh, uh, players on the bench. Uh, one of them will have to come in. And then uh, the, the team list will have now have eight players, not nine. 
and then uh, that player will be red carded. He has to go. But you will start the match with 11 players. So you can't start the match with uh, 10 players because somebody got a red card during the shaking of hands. I didn't know that. Yeah, that's why I said, no, we bring Mother something new. Away? Yeah, you said there's no content. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I mean, he's <laughs> always telling us new things here, but I'm sure I've come across Ah, Amazon. Amazon. Ah, Amazon. Give the man, ah. give the man his ah. Jews. You didn't know. Yeah. You didn't know. You didn't know. It has never happened. But I, I feel, I feel like because it's off season, he goes and brushes up on something <laughs> old and makes it new. No, we can the season just start? Even because our Victor, viewers, Lille Siba. because Victor, Lille Siba, I didn't know. Didn't know. They didn't know. They Victor, didn't know. Yeah, Victor, Victor Kaka, Kaka, off season is not make sure. <laughs> Not make sure. No, Mazola, give the man his juice. You didn't know. Hmm? 642, you're going to be taking your calls in three minutes. The weekend that was, there was a lot this weekend. Um, the other thing they want to talk about, we're going to take it to television. Uh, yes. Lesotho. But just, just uh, you know, you're going to take it to television, soccer zone. We're going to be showing it to you visually. But uh, j- 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 just give me a little bit of a hint. What was it? Yeah, uh, so now we saw a goal on the 50th minute. Uh, scored by uh, Lesotho Dikwena. That was ruled offside. Uh, when we look at the uh, television replay, when we analyze it with a critical eye, we realize or no hi. Uh, it should have been allowed to stay. So the referee was incorrect or the assistant referee was incorrect in ruling that goal offside. However, when we also look on the other side, we saw uh, a serious uh, a tackle by one of the Dikwena players which should have resulted in a red card. So, but let's call a whole, no, well, probably call it, well, probably obviously red card because it should have played with 10 men. We'll get into it. We'll get into it. All of that uh, coming up on Soccer Zone. Of course, we take a break. When we come back, it's all about your voice notes as well as your calls of everything that happened this weekend what Mazola has had to say what davik has had to say as well it's 86 on our call line whatsapp on 060 but to obviously you know cut the show a little bit uh, and not get into too much depth of some of the things that we would have loved to um the time we had to give it to um the zulu king uh, and we did so uh, gleefully the weekend that was my uh, the weekend that was I I, I actually enjoyed e, e, e tennis. Yeah. Um Alcaraz, yeah, look, I, I think he is playing some good tennis there. Mm. And for the comeback on the fourth set by U, U, Djokovic, that's something else. Uh, yeah, that guy is still legend. Uh, he's still legend. He's got some really couple is. of years remaining with him. Um my highlight of the weekend is Harry Maguire. Finally, United. Hey, United give us some whistles and trails, man. No, hey, that guy's useless. I agree. Uh, come on. So, Harry Maguire, um, uh, as the story comes, please, 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 please just pause that because this is a big moment here. This is a big moment. Uh, it's no secret I'm a Manchester United fan mm-hmm. and I'm frustrated with Harry Maguire, yeah. Yeah. especially when you have ex players that say, hey, uh, I knew I was better than Harry Maguire, but I couldn't play because the coach said, Man United. Uh, say he must play with the money that they spent on him. So he had to play. That's from an ex-player, not me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so now, what Eric Ten Hag has done is he's taken the belt away from him. Yeah. So he's no longer captain. Mm-hmm. So he realized he saw the future. <laughs> so Harry Maguire is now going to be leaving Manchester United. Mm. How exciting news is that? Oh. This is like Arsenal leaving football. I, I hope he doesn't end up at Stamford Bridge since we I can see everyone. him at Chelsea. I, I can not. see him at Chelsea. So if you'd like to have Harry Maguire, hey, give us a shout as well. We'll talk about that. Evening, Miss Andy. Yes, Pershant Dussange from Divan. First, I would like to wish Banyana Banyana all the best mm. in the World Cup. I hope the first game will, will be very crucial for them. Uh, a, a draw or a win, it will make it. Uh, coming to my rule, I think I spoke. Uh, some time ago that uh, this boy deserves a notch overseas uh, while still young and uh, hope he is going uh, uh, to overseas. Mm. Coming to Jokamanja, I I think uh, uh, a good decision from him and his agent to go to Super Sport and hope he'll get get a game time that he wasn't getting at all on Pirates. Big up to your team. A good decision to say, I want to play. I think what, yeah, no, the the (laughs) lie I I don't agree with. The lie I don't agree with. Let's go to another one. 
Andile, good evening. Hey. Bafana, Bafana, disappointing again. Uh, hmm. But it was expected, man, because, you know, like, uh, they were coming back always from a goal down to win. This is true. I they saw started the tournament coming like that. that uh, Zambia will, uh, will, will, will do something different this time. So, but anyway, good luck to Zambia. But, I mean, uh, congratulations to Zambia. Bafana, Bafana, had luck. You'll come back again. It's Moses Mokwena of Hamuka Moses, my problem with people that uh, are, are, are heartbroken about uh, Bafana Bafana losing at Kosafa, not winning the trophy, is nobody speaks about the fact that they won it last season. Nobody celebrates and is like, oh, we're Kosafa <coughs> champions. So that's why I think that two South years Africans... Ago. Was it two years ago? Yeah. No, was, was it two years ago? Last year, it was Zambia in Durban. It was the year before in... in, in no, Morena won it, didn't In Port Elizabeth, 2021. Okay. Wait, who, who was the coach? It was more than Moriburi. Moriburi, yes. You know what I mean? Nobody speaks about how, how he won it and celebrates it. So I don't think we take that tournament seriously. I honestly don't. Let's take a last one. Let's take a last voice note. Uh, good evening, Andil. Hey. Hey, uh, I watched the match. Yaga uh, Djokovic. Mm. No, no Carlos Alcaraz. Mm. You. You. What a match. Indeed. I've never seen something like this, bro. You don't watch enough tennis. Yo. <laughs> Tata, you need to watch more tennis. Uh, Timmy says we have to play one more, Malcolm. Says we have to play one more. Legs, you know, it was... Good evening, Andile. Hey. How are you, my brother? You know, a game between uh, the Springboks and the New Zealand mm. and the All Blacks. You know, it's it so hard not to support to the All Blacks. Huh? That one. It was a game to watch. What a game! The New Zealand came running, and you know what? Those guys in the house of pain. Mm. It was mm. hard mm. to beat them there in their Listen own the passion. backyard. But anyway, the Springboks tried, man. We tried, but. Congratulations to New Zealand. It's Moses Mukwena from Mukokwela. Thank you. Moses, two times. Uh, you're a lucky man. Uh, let's go to Jimmy. Macau. Kona Mutsepe. Oh, ma. David. Eh, Mazola. My brother, how are you? Good. Eh, 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 eh. Did you good about the show? Did you go to the show? Did you go to the show? Did you go Strong, strong, strong. I thought no. Eh, tap, my brother. We did take three sushi and chicken. We did go to the Macau. Wait, you are. Talk to me. Eh, bon, and the lady, you know, Mazola, sure. Come with a man, Fanaka. I want to work in a room, Mazola. When Kayla was winning trophies, me, hm, before Polokwani City is a man, Polokwani City is best. Watch out for Kayla Chief. Mazola, some of the city in Fanaka, next week, Manta. Kifanegadi states. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you so Zulu, on a kala. Uchu ko manju ne kala lako. Hey, lipara man. Hey, all right, lipara. Ang iko right, my friend. I'm not sharp. Ang iko sharp. What ko shuzu ko manju? King Jali. King Jali. Ah, oh, the guy came on air. Accepted my apology. <laughs> 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 That apology was on behalf of all of all of my family. I'm afraid. No, you hey, can't abuse all... the man and then cry when he's hey. gone. But since Bonilla is actually <laughs> and man just and And he said you are a big team and he wants to stay. He said he's he he's in fact he's tired, he's been lifting trophies, but now he's leaving us now. You that's what he said, right, Chair. Yeah, but yeah, now yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, my problem is like when when you look at the Rolanda Pirates team, do you think he's gonna play though? He was he was getting game time the time, he's still gonna play. I mean, he won I mean, the Nedbank Cup. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, it's sad how, play, how fans are. They've this man was there. Zulu Nutella was leading the mob. Ah, he apologized. No, but he was leading the mob. He apologized after. Now the guy is gone. Usui Akala Zulu. Thank you, Zulu Nutella. Let's go to Spio. Spio is out in Mabopane. Ejo. Uh, and Dinsa, Jab Shab, Maniki, we live here now. Nah, no, it's good to have you back, boy. I'm good to give you one. What one? Bullell and Nori. Yeah, uh, David. Yeah, Tara. And then Mazola, 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 Speecho, 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 Mazola, I want to know, and I don't know. Why to Adam to Hamabra? So, uh, David, you can't do that. I'm a red card. I. 
from somewhere. I'm a local referee. Mm. Yeah. I'm a local referee. I know, I know those rules. I'm following those rules. But at some point, I want to be where you were and then where you are now, you know? Uh, let, me then, tell you, like, Spiro, let me tell yeah, you, Spiro. Let me tell you. I want to be there. It's but very possible. Is, it's very possible. My problem possible. is only one. Yeah. Mm. My problem is that I'm supporting Orlando Pirates. Ah! <laughs> I'm supporting Orlando Pirates, and then just imagine get a fat dog. But but hold on, but hold on, Spew. It's it, 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 it hold on because I want to get into this. Cause I think it's a very important conversation. Mm. If yeah. you're a referee, it means you grew up loving football, yeah. which means yeah. you had a team that you supported. Yes. So help him here, Tavik. Yeah. How did you then jump from being a supporter to being a referee, yeah. a fair referee? Yeah. No, no, it's and it's good um, uh, because uh, there are some referees in the PSL now that I saw wearing a T-shirt. I had to advise them while they were young to say, take that T-shirt and throw so it. So they were away. wearing the, the, the team T-shirt. One was putting on on his profile pic. So I had mm. to advise him, my friend, you have joined refereeing. You are a judge. You are an arbitrator. So you have to give it to your brother, your sister. Never wear that T-shirt again. You have to be neutral. No? You have to be neutral because you are a referee. So you have to be uh, honest at all times with integrity. So for you, my friend, uh, please go take. give Mara, it to you. Mara, you can take the T-shirt off, but you can't take the heart out. If you, if you go with the heart. I, I heart is a score and then it reacts on the field. We'll suspend we'll you. We'll celebrate. We'll suspend you. And you know how much uh, referees are earning. In the PSL, it's much better. So you lose. How much are they earning? You lose uh, over five. So you lose. Over five million. Over five, uh, you know, Hundred. number zero, zero. Five thousand. Yeah, so over five. Yeah. yeah, so you want to sacrifice your salary at the expense of favoring a team. What will the team give you for favoring? Because that money pays uh, some... It's pure referees. you heard, no? Yeah. I hope that advice you take it, my friend. <laughs> So, and the time of the Brandy. Very quickly. Yeah. Uh, Gabona, Gabona, Bagani, Alagala, we never can kill and Alabola, and say, Laura, alone. I love that. Have a chill, Brandy. Ah, ski, say, what are you not? Or what are you doing? Not Brandy. Eh, I know, and it didn't let the cool, the Mara, no, eh, Dugamanja, 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 or Colo, Dugamanja, or Colo. Few of my spew, my father's spew. Mr. Ref, bye bye. Let's go to Zakes in Naturan. He wants to speak about Chiefs and Maguire. Ooh, speaking of Maguire, um, I can read this to you. This is on Sky Sports Premier League, right? This is breaking news from breaking Sky news, Sports. Yeah. They say, Chelsea are considering entering the race for Harry Maguire. With West Ham and Tottenham already chasing him, they seem to be favourites. Chelsea. Uh, we are considering, and then we will reconsider. Uh, and last one, let's it. go to Makosoke. Yeah, I know, it's right, boy. Kulum. Yeah, yeah, I contract ended. So he doesn't have to come back. He doesn't have to answer the phone. He doesn't have to do anything. He's a free man. Thank you, Sebong. Uh, we can take more, can't we? Yeah, a couple of GPs there. We've got the time. Uh, Faith is on her way. She's going to be coming to studio. A couple of GP. Hey, guys. I want to greet you. It's a... Uh, how far? Hey, how far now? My brother, far. You know, there's something I want to tell people. Mm. We are scared that if we are ready. In fact, I wanted to find out if you don't have any connection with maybe Liverpool manager or <laughs> Manchester United so that we can get a friendly. I, th- I don't think we are ready for PSN now because if you can look at our signings, <laughs> my brother, you can. people want to lose 5-1 from a uh, team from Botswana. 5-1 and they want to challenge us. Can you imagine? What? So we don't want to challenge anybody. It means, okay, you, you, you and my brother, you have connection. Get us friendly match with Liverpool or Man, uh, Man United. Or my city anytime. Even tomorrow we are ready. Cabello. Uh, what, yes, what, 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 what's your second official game uh, this season? Who are you playing? Second game. Uh, uh, we are, you we mean the line. Sometimes are you thinking about those people? Yes. No, my brother. That's why we want a friendly match now. 
which Liverpool just to, to to send a a message to them. I mean, how come? Have you seen our players? Have you seen what we have signed right now? Who are your it's players? Who are your players? My brother, let me. We, we have signed uh, Kulenyana, uh, the top goal from Super Sport defender. We have signed Msimango, defender. We have signed Pune Moody, defender. Uh, 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 we have signed uh, Ranga Ranga. We have signed Castillo. You want me to? We have signed the smallest boy. You know him from. Uh, you know the the money well, hey, hey. The, the money the money city. Uh, I don't want to tell you, Pufani. I can go and, uh, and we are not done. So who can compete with us? Oh. I mean, they, they must just uh, just be uh, nice and say, here's the trophy for PSL before you even start. Because see, when we start, my brother, Kesa Chiefs will be un untouchable and unstoppable. I just want to warn people. Kesa Chiefs, you are ready. Now, on the 29, we are going to Botswana. We are going to play uh, one team there. Come we come team. back. Top of Limpopo, you're the last one. Faith is out in the studio yet, so go for it. Hey, man, how are you? Hey, no easy, man. You want to speak about Juka? Yes, great uh, Mazola and Professor out there. So, oh, Brad Sebo. I'm a Manolando Paris fan, man. Really, Juga Manja has not really been consistent, but towards the end of the season, he showed us some flames. But my fear is that with the new season, we might experience what we experienced last year at the early, at the early hours of the season. Um, I'm thinking we should, we should release the guy. If he's going to be hit somewhere, mm. let's rather release him and then we'll see other strikers. And then and Banyana? Then, uh, to pro and then Banyana, no. <clears throat> uh, it's really disappointing uh, because you, there was an interview, a press conference that included everyone, including the Minister of Sport and Culture, and he never gave any decisive. In other countries, the highest officials, including the president, will be will give decisive decision with regards to those kind of issues. It's it's really disappointing. But I'm just saying, like the girls, let them go there and represent the country. This time around, let them just play for the badge and the flag, and then they will see other things when they come back. Uh, when it comes to officiating, uh, please tell Professor Ben. <clears throat> as much as they bring the new rules, it's can the he principal tell guys to Mancep. get? He, can, can, can the principal tell his people to get the old ones correct first? We are losing leagues because of this people. Mm, 100%. Percent. Couldn't have said it better myself. And, 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 well and, done. And, 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 and the last one, just ask just a quick question to, to the Mr. Principal. Why does it seem like South African referees are retiring much more earlier than their European counterparts? Because when you look at European leagues, it looks like uh, officials are extremely old. But and themselves they retire much more because ah, they they're understand. black black doesn't crack thank you so much Sepo I appreciate you uh, we didn't have enough time gents um, you know but uh, it was yeah. well worth it uh, we'll try again next week Monday Mazala we always pop in and out during the week so maybe we'll see you in the week get us that sundown story and let us know what's going on with Kamab Elliot yeah. otherwise soccer zone this evening this evening let's quickly answer the uh, the very quickly yeah. it's, we are on somebody else's time now FIFA has said after 45 you can still continue so in South Africa, up until what time? Up, to, up till 50, as long as you pass the fitness test. So in South Africa, we need to amend that rule because we retire at 47. So we need to now say after 47, if you can still pass, you can continue. Pella, pella. That's all me. me.